All right, today we are going to take a look at the iKey 820 Elite by Autec. And this is the newer edition following up the popular iKey 820 uh, and also from the same company that makes the Boscom KMAX 850. So inside it looks like we have a case. And uh, look at that, there's a user's manual. We'll take a look at that. Then there is a box of accessories. So let's take a look inside the case first. So it's a nice sturdy uh, hard plastic covered with nylon case with a handle, a little rubber grip on it, and two zippers. So inside, so here is the actual device. Let's see this out. It's an eight, eight inch uh, screen touch tablet and it, it is not battery powered so there is not an internal battery so the unit itself is actually very light. Uh, okay then so inside this pocket looks like a power cable. Um, the BC200 adapter, this is for, there's a frequency tester as well as an area for, uh, looks like for pre-coding keys. Then here's the OB, OBD2 cable, as well as I believe this cable is then used to connect the BC200. Okay, and there's also a, a USB cable. That's what comes inside the case. It looks like, you know, the standard equipment is, is in the carrying case. So then let's, let's just take a glance here at the user manual. Nice booklet. It looks like it's all in color. Um, index, everything is in English. And it looks like for this version, only in English. Um, and so here is the. We'll get. We'll go. We'll start to go through the accessories that are included, which are listed. Are all listed here. So we've already looked at the OBD2 cable, um, as well as the USB and the power supply. So let's take a look here. So it looks like this is. Uh, yep, so this looks like the Chrysler, the Dodge Chrysler star connector cable. You can see the, the probes here. So OBD inputs, and then this is really just for power. And then these are your star connector probes. There you go. Uh, let's see here. Quite a few accessories. So this is the TJL cable for Jaguar Land Rover, all keys lost there. Uh, this is, I believe this is the uh, Ford all keys lost with active alarm cable. Looks like there's an EEPROM reader device. Okay. Then this one. This one is the FEM BDC cable for BMW. The FEM BDC cable for BMW. There's the connectors. And this uh, this connects into the into the tablet where the OBD would be. All right. So then this is the ECU jump cable. So you see all the various connectors here connecting into the ECU, and then uh, this connects back into the tablet. And it looks like here is the Hyundai 10, the 10P connector. The, I believe this is the Kia 20 and the Honda 3-prong, three, three the 3P connector. 
And then last piece in here is, this is the BMW FEM BCM key programming platform. So, there you go. And so those are all the accessories that come in the iKey 820 Elite. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna pack all this up and then we're gonna just do a brief walkthrough on the device itself. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at, at some of the main features and capabilities of the iKey 820 Elite. And obviously, Immobilizer is the primary function, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's just see what some of these other options are. So under frequency, if you've connected the BC200, you could then use this to as a frequency tester for uh, remote frequencies. Um, and then this is an interesting one under code request. So under code request, you then have the option of Hyundai Kia or the Dodge Jeep Chrysler group. And from what inside the manual it says, this is actually a pin code as well as a key code request. And it basically states that you have to have uh, funds or money um, on, on an account in your, what they call the e-wallet. From reading through, I, I don't see, uh, actually I'll cut that part out. All right, next let's take a look at this code request. So here you have the option of pulling a code for Hyundai Kia or Dodge Jeep Chrysler. And what this is offering is not only the security code, but also the key code. So here it states, it shows here that you have an e-wallet. And within this system, you would load funds in order to use, you have to actually pay for the code requests. Put in the 17 digit uh, VIN, and it would run that and bring back not only the security code, but the key code for the vehicle. So interesting feature there. There are updates. Updates are done uh, via Wi-Fi, so you, you don't have to plug in. Um, a setting, which is where user information as well as device info, uh, the Wi-Fi and language settings. Documents, um, I believe this is where if, when you back up EEPROM files uh, or even images that you save uh, would be here. Then, so let's go ahead and click into a mobilizer and you can sort through all vehicle types or you can narrow it down by American, Asian, or European. I mean, one thing to note though, under America, you'll find, you'll find Lexus USA, Toyota USA, so Amer you know, Asia doesn't necessarily mean that's just the origin of the manufacturer. Um, but to see a few interesting pieces here, uh, if you go by, if you look at BMW, we can search by vehicle. Notice here under 2018, it does offer CAS4 and CAS4 Plus. Um, Programming, let's see what info it gives us when we click in. So it's asking us to turn to uh, just turn the system on. Obviously we're not connected to a vehicle. We're really just going through the menus to see what the options are within the menus. Uh, it may error out here, but I think it's actually gonna give us the next level of options here. Okay, so yes, it loaded. Um, so you could read the CAS, read key, key status, enable disable key, coding operations, programming CAS4, CAS4 Plus, program key, view CAS information, and clear DTCs. So um, it's just interesting to see this being offered for BMW. Let's take a look at what else under European vehicles. Um, oh, right, let's look at uh, Jaguar Land Rover. Type three, 
2015 to 2018 keyless. So it does offer all keys lost under um, Jaguar Land Rover for 2015 to 2018. So that's just a brief, you know, it's, if you plug it in, you can go through the menu and really look at all the, all the different options. Um, but this is just a, a quick look through of uh, how the iKey 820 functions and its capabilities. Thank you for watching.